Welcome back, everybody, to episode 23 of the UAF Waifus Carrier Only Let's Play. Now, we're at a point in the series where things are sort of slowing down and becoming a little bit more repetitive. We essentially now, the only thing left for us to really accomplish at this point in time is to just farm lots and lots and lots of money. Uh, I don't know why I'm heading north right now. Farm lots and lots and lots of money in order to be able to purchase the Nova area. At this point in time, uh, that is sort of like the only thing left to do in terms of our goals. And that has left me feeling a little bit um, weird because I, I had no idea it was going to be 50 million um, credits uh, to get to the Nova area. I had no idea it was going to be so, so much. Uh, it really, really, really is uh, a lot of, of credits. And frankly, I just don't think you guys want to watch me grind out credits. I really don't think you do. I also don't have the spare time to just grind out the credits like crazy. Uh, in terms of getting 50 million credits. I don't have the hours to to just um, sit down and and do it off camera. Uh, so I'm I'm in a bit of a I'm in a bit of a weird spot here where I feel like the 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 series doesn't really have much to go on in terms of like our goals other than just like a credit grind. Um, based on the challenge that we set for ourselves. No, oh, I've really enjoyed this series. Um, and it's been really good for my channel. And um, it's been really great getting to know all of you. Um, but I think what we might actually have to do is say, hey, the goal was to get to the Nova area. I didn't quite realize that it was going to be 50 million credits worth of goal. And I think... It might be just more entertaining for you guys for us to take on a new challenge that isn't just repetitive killing of remnant fleets for AI cores and doing bounties. And I think I, I think the majority of you wouldn't get will agree with me. And if you if you if you do feel like that actually uh, you know you're like Tim oh no you said you were going to get the Nova area and and uh, you know I really want you to get the Nova area even if it negatively you know it, it, if even if it's boring right and i understand that please do let me know if, if that's because i will make do do my absolute damnedest in the future to to avoid um to avoid uh doing exactly that like to, to avoid setting goals that i'm i'm not quite sure of right um, and I don't want to, uh, uh, one of the ways that we could proceed forwards to get the money is by going down the colony route and expanding and, and getting a ton of colonies and getting them all running. Um, and I completely, like, that's definitely viable, but at the same time, we're running the Realm Builders series on this, uh, like, uh, alongside this one. And it just seems like, it, 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 like, we'd just be doing the same thing over two different, <laughs> we'd just be doing the same thing, right? Realm Builders would be building up the colonies, Waifus would be building up the colonies. Um, it doesn't seem like there's a massive amount of point to it to me. Uh, so I think what we're going to do is we're going to go out in a bit of a blaze of glory uh, with this episode. We're going to go and pick some big, big fights. Uh, they're going to be absolutely gorgeous to watch. And and then we're going to we're going to call it a wrap on waifus, the UAF carries only let's play. And w which will mean we will be starting a brand new challenge very, very soon, uh, which I'm very excited for. There's many factions that I want to uh, I want to to check out, and I want to run, and I want to to play with. Uh, lots of new mods that you guys have all been suggesting that I hook up. So I'm very, very excited about starting a new challenge run. And I hope you guys have really, really like enjoyed where we've gone with UAF waifus so far. And I, I, I hope you guys understand sort of like the, the, the thinking behind why I'm going to call this this series here, if that makes sense. Um, but for now, we're just going to quickly go and see. Um, I was just going to go see if where there was, you know, maybe any any ships. Um, but no, we are going to go and pick some fights. 
We are going to go and pick some fights. Some good, good fights. So we are going to... We are going to head up. And we're going to go and play... Uh, dangerously. With who? Who are we going to play dangerous with, dangerously with first? Uh, Daso Mikoyan, we fought a lot of Daso Mikoyan. We fought a decent amount of hegemony. We saw a decent amount of Lodic Path. Um, what have we not fought? And what, what what sort of ships do we want to we want to test ourselves against? The Reuter Union, you know, that's interesting. I don't think I've I don't think we fought any Reuter ships at the moment. What is our diplomacy with the Reuters at the moment? Are the inhospitable? Right, let's let's go pick a fight with the Reuters. I want to I want to go see how the Reuters fight. We're gonna go pick a fight with the Reuters. Uh, <laughs> um, and where where are the Reuters? We saw um, they have they have an orbital station, but that's just an orbital station there. They have a military size five there. Uh, do they have anything else? Do they? No, it looks like they have been beaten down pretty heavily. They don't have much. They don't have much. Um, I, I think we should go pick a fight with the uh, the Vic as well at some point. I think we should pick a fight with the Vic. Maybe with Diablo as well. Just, just, just annoy everyone and, and just fight them, right? Um, <laughs> uh, okay, so we'll, we'll gate up. Um, we will gate up. And we will head to Atka. We will head to Atka. I'm going to be entirely honest with you. I don't know whether that was even worth it. Because we've gated up to the Zagan system. But actually, we've still got a fair ways to fly. And it's probably around about the same amount of distance to fly from here to um, to Atka as it was from UAF space. Maybe a little bit less. So honestly, I don't know whether that gating was worth it. But honestly, who cares? Who cares? We'll see you there. And here we are in the Atka system. Time for our first battle. It's going to be against the Reuter Union. And let's have let's have a look. Ah, huh. doesn't look like a particularly scary fleet. Doesn't look like a particularly scary fleet. They have Moras. They have Hesperus. They have. M Is that Is that a ranch? The the <laughs> a ranch. Yes. The, they they have a carrier that is called the ranch class. <laughs> they have a firestorm, they have a gambit that looks a lot like a venture. They're running mules and condors. So they they're running some vanilla ships, looks like some vanilla variants as well. We're going to move into engage. Yeah, we're going to piss them off. That's fine. We're going to piss them off. That's fine. Uh, we are going to send in all of our front, all of our top row there. All of our top row. In they go. Let's see what the Reuters are made of, huh? Let's see what the Reuters are made of. Now, in terms of the next challenge run, there are many, 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 many different options. Many, 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 many different options. And I'm going to be putting out a uh, poll on the uh like immediately after i've recorded this um so it will happen before um it will happen before you guys see this video you'll see a poll for what's next so you probably will have already seen it uh wow there's a semi-brief launched already um <laughs> um i don't think that's going to impact anything uh no it's not okay uh there goes the roach i hate that they're running face ships I hate that they're running face ships. Oh, it did impact something. I wonder what it impacted. I wonder what the semi breathe impacted. But I'll be putting a poll up on the on the YouTube community tab uh, for what faction to play next. Um, and uh, yeah, that's going to be exciting. That's going to be exciting. I believe the challenge. So I don't know what faction we're going to play, but I believe the challenge is going to be. Um, a all inhospitable challenge. Uh, oh, sorry, uh, uh, an all hostile challenge, which means every every uh, faction except for the independents are going to be hostile towards us from the very get go. 
Um, so that's going to be an interesting challenge. Uh, very interesting challenge. Of course, one of the factions is not going to be because the faction that we choose is not going to be. Of course. Um. Hmm. Hmm. Big bombs coming down. Oh, Raffles, you didn't really make a dent there. Raffles, you didn't really make a dent. Ah. Oh, is this thing... Is this thing just incredibly well armoured? This thing is crazy well armoured. The Raffles, you doesn't make a dent. Massive fighter strikes come in and don't make a dent. It's finally taking some hull damage, but goodness me. This thing is an absolute tank. There is a semi-brief coming up. There is a semi-brief coming up. And kaboom! Oh, wait. The semi-brief didn't even hit. The semi-brief carried on flying through. <laughs> that is a tanky vessel, that. My goodness. That is a tanky, tanky vessel. Well, we will let them go through the wreckage now do you think they will send a fleet out to hunt us i'm not sure but uh that's nah, just a regular old star fortress isn't it yeah this is a regular old star fortress okay there's not really a major threat at all, at all. not really a major threat and they don't really have anything else in system all right well there we go we we tested out the roiders now we're off to go and fight with the vic we're gonna go pick a fight with the vic okay here we are in telepus and we're heading over uh telepilus sorry should i say and we are heading over oh sorry no we're in penelope's star system and we're heading to telepilus my apologies uh, and we're going to go pick a fight with a Vic and see how the Vic hold up to the great waifu's armada. Will anyone give us challenge? Nobody knows. Oh, wait a minute. They don't even have a station here. They don't even have a station here. We're heading to a different Vic space. <laughs> let's head to their. Let's head to their main system. Let's head to their main system. And. Just go pick a fight in the most dangerous place we can. That sounds like a great idea to me. Let's go pick a fight in the most dangerous place we can when it comes to the Vic. Now, let's see. We want to go hard down this way. Vicky, Vic, Vic, Vic. Do you have any fleets for us to fight? Any sort of big fleets? Big fleets. We're looking for big fleets. Come on. You can have a big fleet around here somewhere, right? You're going to have a big fleet around here somewhere. Grand investment fleet? Nah, it's not a grand fleet at all. All right, let's head, let's head a bit further down. Surely they'll have some big fleets around Phlegathon, their main industry planet. Their main industry planet, surely. Shirley Temple. No? They just, they just don't have anything. Well, um... Hmm. I guess we try and bait them out to come and fight us. We're going to engage the Star Fortress and its defenders. And we'll just deploy everything we can. Off we go. 500 deployment points worth of ships. Time to engage. What happened there? Oh, is this station... Is this station teleporting bombs into our fleet again? Oh, it is. It is. This station is teleporting bombs into our fleet again. Ah. So frustrating. So frustrating. We will retaliate by firing a nuke. Firing a nuke straight up towards the station. Let's see it go. Come on, can it can it hit? Does it get shot down? Oh! Oh, it got shot down right before it impacted. Right before it impacted. Oh, so close. 
So close. I love the Sturm ships. The Sturm, I, I really love the way the Sturm ships look. The Vic Sturm ships um, are very, very cool. They are very, very, very cool, in my opinion. We've got a couple of uh, Orion battle carriers. Making their way down. The Sturm cruisers are being eliminated. Sturm cruisers are being eliminated. What is this weird thing coming off of the... Hmm. The raffles, you're coming in for a bombing run. It's probably going to die. Oh. I think something glitched out there with the raffles here, but she is down. We still have one more raffles here. On the back of that Isonoria. But uh, this, is a, this is a good battle for us, actually. This is an excellent battle for us. This is a real challenge. This is what we wanted. This is what we wanted. A real challenge. Raffles just going off after a tiger. Why is the Aura Redemptor all the way down? Oh! There we go! Huge semi-breathe. Huge semi-breathe. There goes what down one of the battle carriers. There goes down one of the battle carriers. It's absolutely stunning. Absolutely gorgeous. The Meniscars coming in with their torpedoes. Like I've said many a time, the Meniscars, absolute MVPs of the fleet. Absolute MVPs of the fleet. Truly, truly, truly. MVPs of the fleet. Now, some of you might be wondering, but Tim, you never got to use the Tau fans. And I will respond to you by saying, don't you worry. Don't you worry. Because this isn't the last UAF playthrough we're going to be doing. Oh. No. We are going to be doing a UAF challenge run that lets us use all of the UAF ships in the future. Every single one of them, not just carriers. And we will definitely get access to the Talfan when we do that. We will be doing a uh, UAF challenge run where we assist the UAF in complete galactic conquest. That's right. We help the UAF ca conquer the entire sector. This Samael is tough. This Samael is very tough. Station starting to take some damage now though. The station is starting to take some serious damage. We, what? What was? Was that the? Was that the? The Nekonia? No. What were those guns just then? Little Sturm Destroyer. Picking some fights. The Mirai is reporting that their combat readiness is going to start decreasing soon. That's fine. That is a okay, Mirai. Do not worry. There goes the Samael. Nice. Oh no, that's the Thamuz. I thought the Samael was... That was the, oh, well, clearly I'm getting my ships mixed up. <laughs> clearly I'm getting my ships mixed up. This battle station is going to be dropping soon. It is going to be dropping soon. And it's going to be a glorious, glorious, glorious sight. An absolutely stunning display. Of magnificence. Woohoo! Reapers going in. Tons of missiles. Tons of fighters. Every ship surrounding from every which way. Look at how beautiful that is. <laughs> Absolutely stunning. Just like surrounded by UAF carriers. Fighters flying in doing strikes. The carriers launching tons of missiles. Absolutely gorgeous. And there goes the Star Fortress. There it goes. Kaboom. Kaboom. Love it. Absolutely love it. Uh, wonderful. We're going to go ahead and... 40,000 credits from the wreckage. My goodness. 
Absolutely lovely. Absolutely lovely. Well, there is our there is our fight against the Vic. And that was a beautiful fight. That was an absolutely gorgeous fight with the Vic. That truly was a stunning, stunning, stunning fight with the Vic. Uh, I, I tremendously enjoyed that. I did. Uh, now, who are we going to go pick a fight with now? Uh, who have we not fought yet? We fought the Magellan. We haven't fought the Sindri and Diktat. Maybe we should fight the Sindri and Diktat because uh, in the next playthrough, we will be adding Sindri and Diktat fuel, um, the mod made by WM Greywind, uh, to the playthrough. So maybe we go fight the Sindri and Diktat now. Um, wait, who is that? Oh, it's a Diablo Avionics. Spindle Strike Fleet. Hmm. They're not worth our energy. <laughs> so let's head up to Asconia. And let's go pick a fight with the Sindrian Diktat. Ah, yes. Okay, we are in Asconia. And should we go pick a fight, like, literally outside Sindria? Should we, should we, should we go pick a fight literally outside Sindria? Oh, there you go. There's your asteroid impact for the playthrough or for the the episode. Here we go. Sindrian Diktat Detachment. They have a, two conquests. They have two dominators, an eagle, a fury, a falcon. This, of course, is a vanilla uh, faction, but. That won't stop us from eliminating them. <laughs> we'll just do top row for this one. We'll just do top row for this one. I love the red glow. I love what the UAF ships, when there's a red glow on them, look so beautiful. They look so stunning with this, this, this reddish hue, like slipping over them. Absolutely gorgeous. I gotta admit, uh, Milky Dromeda, Sai, see you, Kamaru. Incredible sprite artist, incredible sprite artist, incredible talent. Um, amazing, amazing looking sprites. Just a great, just a very, very great artist, all in all. Honestly, um, it's been a pleasure talking to them a bit, uh, getting to know them a bit better. Um, and uh, just, just, just playing with their artwork. Essentially, it's been wonderful. Now, I don't expect this this fight to last very long at all. I don't expect this fight to last very long at all. I don't honestly expect any of the fights to last particularly long. Like that Star Fortress fight at the Vic is probably going to be the longest fight because there honestly isn't much outside of some really big top tier fleets that uh, can 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 face what we can put out at this point in time. There really isn't much. <laughs> There's a nuke flying up. Doesn't look like it's going to hit anything, though. Oh. These conquests are going to get absolutely overwhelmed very soon. There we go. And kaboom. Boom, boom lovely as a dominator just getting absolutely mullered from every angle <laughs> oh a bit of fighter recall a bit of fighter recall an incredible ability from the nuxoria sp fighter recall truly incredible ability this conquest is overloaded oh there's some big damage coming through there's a raffles you're coming to finish it off raffles just coming to finish it off there you go raffles you kaboom the conquest is down. The conquest is down. How stunningly spectacular. I do indeed love it. I do indeed love it. And the last little ship here. It's a monitor. Yeah, there it goes. 
Monitors are very, very good for their deployment cost. Very good for their deployment cost. The Sindrian dig type detachment hasn't got anything left other than support vessels, which we will let go. We will let the support vessels go. That's okay. We will let the support vessels go. There we go. Uh, my frame rate has suddenly decided to absolutely die. So I will <laughs> restart the game real quick. Okay, it looks like the FPS issues, and this is another part, by the way, why uh, we're uh, we're kind of wrapping up this um, this episode is that the um, this save file is getting uh, is getting rather laggy to play on at this point. Um, we have FPS drops randomly, which isn't great for recording. Um, like if I was playing, it wouldn't be too much of a problem. Um, but when recording, um, it's a little it's a little rough. It's a little rough. Okay, who else can we pick a fight with? That is the question. Who else can we pick a fight with? I wonder, should we go do one of those really high-end bounties? Yeah, let's go do one of those really high-end bounties. That sounds like fun. <laughs> let's let's go pick on a, one of those really, really high-end bounties. I'll go pick one up from prison. Uh, we were heading over, but the Sindri and Diktat decided that they wanted another run at us. So we'll give them another run at us. Uh, apparently, they, this is going to be a difficult fight for us. So I guess we'll just send everything in, shall we? We'll send everything in and we'll see whether it's actually a difficult fight for us or not. I have a feeling it's not going to be that difficult of a fight, if you get what I'm saying. But you know what? I will, I will, I will give them respect. I will give them respect. I will send the Mirai off and I will send the Avenger off. I will give them respect and actually go and take the control points. Um, <laughs> but I'm entirely honest. I'm, uh, I'm pretty sure we're just going to roll straight through them. I'm pretty sure we're just going to roll straight through them like a bulldozer uh, as if they weren't even really there. We're just going to launch all of our fighters. They're going to kill everything. Our nukes are going to kill everything else. And our other missiles are going to kill everything else. And... <laughs> Yeah. But yeah, so th 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 there's a lot of reasons for ending this episode here. FPS, um, just sort of like entertainment factor of the series, and uh, a few other bits. But we've, we, you know, we've done, we've done twenty. This is twenty three, right? Twenty three episodes. I feel like it's a very good run. Um, for a series. Honestly, for a, for a challenge run series as well, I think I think I think twenty three episodes is a great run, with uh, them on average being about forty five minutes long. Um, I think maybe maybe a bit longer. There goes a conquest. There goes a fury. There goes a lasher. Oh, beautiful explosions. But also it was uh, also partially because of something that uh, uh, Moonlight Lady Hild actually commented. And something that I wholeheartedly agree with. Um, the, the Realm Builders doesn't have too much challenge to it. And because Realm Builders doesn't have too much challenge to it, people people aren't massively like invested in it because the struggle isn't there. And waifus, for a long time, there was a lot of struggle with the waifus. I think if you think about the set, setback we had uh, all the way back in episode 5 or 6, when we lost the entire fleet and we escaped with just the Avenger and the Andromeda, and uh and we rebuilt from there and there was the struggle and there was the story of comeback and it was awesome and the waifu series has now kind of come to the point where it's this uh our fleet just massacres anything that it runs into at this point in time uh <laughs> and so you know well there there are some ways that i could still really get myself sort of like in trouble it's not easy to get myself in trouble Without being, you know, haphazardly uh, sloppy. And nobody really wants to watch me be haphazardly sloppy for no reason. Um, so, yeah, I mean, that was another big part of my decision making there. Is that actually, I'd like to do a... I'd like to move on to another challenge where... Um, where it's a struggle again. Right? Where it's not... Um, ooh. Look at those guns go. Look at those guns go. Oh, they both blew up at the same time. The Monitor and the Dominator. Absolutely gorgeous. Love to see that. Time for a challenge. Like time, for, time for a new challenge. Time for some struggle. Time for some struggle. 
we will we will let their support ships go. We are we are kind and generous. Um, we are kind and generous. Can they? Okay. We've really annoyed the city. Oh, six conquests. Six conquests. All right, all right, fine. We've really, really annoyed the Sindrians. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> we have really annoyed them. But we're going to wipe out basically the entirety of their space fleet and then they're going to be susceptible to attacks from everyone else. They could have just left us alone and we would have gone off and messed with someone else. But, you know, that's the way it goes. That's the way it goes. <laughs> uh, well, time to end some Sindrian but Um... So we're going to be adding in a bunch more factions uh, with the with the, the upcoming playthrough. Um, more factions, more, more like other mods as well. Quality of life, the uh, salvage mod, so that I you know I, I don't have to remember to double dip. Um, all sorts of bits and pieces. All sorts of bits and pieces. There goes a wolf. Let's the the. The Aurora Redemptio in these larger fleet battles always sits really far back. Like really far back. And so it, I'm always struggling with the camera to actually see what's going on. So let's 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 get in there, Redemptio, yeah? Let's get let's get in there. Let's get in there. You know what? Let's just fire a wild willy-nilly nuke straight up there. See what happens. Might not hit anything. Might hit something. It's currently on track to hit a conquest. Oh. Oh. My goodness. That just obliterated one of the conquests. One of the conquests is just pieces. Woohoo! And there goes another conquest. Oh, my goodness. That semi brief was very good. That semi brief was very good. My, 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 my. <laughs> How exciting. How exciting. <laughs> this raffles is chasing that conquest. The conquest is like, no, I don't want any of it. Stay away. <laughs> the raffles is like, bomb's going to get you. Bomb's going to get you. <laughs> you got this, Raffles. You got it. Go on. They do have some very heavily armored um, ships, though. They really do have some very heavily armored ships. So lots of, lots of fire strikes coming through. The Raffles here is still chasing it. Oh, no. The Raffles here is actually going to die to the conquest that's running away from it. <laughs> Oh, Raffles, you, you tried. Bless you. You tried. This Raffles, you're trying to take out the eagle. It doesn't. It does do some damage. <laughs> there goes the griffin. There's just two conquests left. Two conquests. Two eagles. Oh, here comes another semi breathe. Oh, no. The semi breathe just blew up the Megami. Oh no, the semi brief hit some rubble and killed the Megami. Oh no. <laughs> Aurora Redemptio, what are you doing? What are you doing, Aurora Redemptio? What are you doing? Well, it's it's apt. There goes a the conquest, beautiful. It's apt that we get a massive death to friendly fire. And the final episode of the series. It's apt that we lose a ship to friendly fire. <laughs> okay, let's see. There's a monitor and a conquest. Let's see how long they can last. My guess, not very long. There goes the monitor. Now it's just this conquest. Just this conquest. Let's see how long it lasts. Let's see how long it lasts. Its armor is starting to fail. Its hull is dropping. There it goes. And 
Kaboom! Oh, wait, there was a conquest down there that just died at the same time. <laughs> oh, there was two conquests and they both died simultaneously. Amazing. Amazing. We will let their support ships go. Uh, we will recover the Megami that died to friendly fire. We will go ahead and take everything there. We'll drop off some metal so that we're not over. And uh, do you think they'll let us go now? Oh, there's an asteroid hit. You know, just, just, just for you guys, just for you guys, just a little asteroid hit for you guys. Let's, uh, let's go and get out of here. <laughs> the Sindrian really didn't like that I came in and messed up, <laughs> messed up one of their fleets, did they? They were not interested whatsoever in playing, playing, you know, playing nice after that. Um, we are going to drop in to Prism Freeport here. And we are going to see if we can pick up a high value bounty to finish this episode off. We will go and open the com directory. Uh, no, we will go to the bar, the unsanctioned bounty board. High value bounty, Gamma 9B. Ooh. A band of mercenaries have called you out. You recall this particular group of individuals who wanted for the use of illegal autonomous weapons. <laughs> Autograve EX mobile armor is their is their flagship. Then they have the Telemon Elite Battleship, Onslaught, another Telemon, an Argos, another Argos, another Argos, an Atlas, a Dictator. Accept the job. Accept the job. Let's go fight. This sounds like it's going to be a very fun fight. Uh, so, bounty board, high value bounty. All the way up here in a system with an orange primary star. There's two of them. We will go to this one first. Okay, we are in the beta churd system that has nothing but a sun in it. A star, should I say. Or oh, something on the other side of the star, though. We will pulse. Oh, there's more over here. There is more hanging out over here. What have we got? A skiff? A debris field? Hmm. And then something in the star. Something in the star. A mud skipper. Well, the high value bounty. Oh, hello. Oh, that's another debris field. Hmm. Hmm. The high value bounty must be in the other system with an orange primary star. We only have 200 supplies. There is our target. Woohoo! That is a fleet. Move in to engage. Continue. All. Deploy. Let's go. M Megami, go for the Alpha. Mirai, go for the Gamma. Oh boy, let's go. <laughs> I'm excited for this. I'm excited for this. This 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 is gonna be a great battle. This is gonna be a seriously great battle. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Here comes the first ship. It looks like a modified wolf of some kind. A Cosmosis Puko class overdriven variant. Puko. Hmm. Another Puko goes down as well. Hmm. Come on, Redemptio. Get up into the fight. Come on. Well, ships are dropping left, right, and center right now. The Gambit, the Hammerhead, the Tempest, the Puko, the Praetorian, all dropping like flies. But we haven't seen any of their big ships yet, really. And that's 
That's where these fights are really going to come in. Here we go. Here we go. There's some bigger ships. There's some bigger vessels. Oh, that's prime nuke target right there. That is prime nuke target right there. Let's put one in. There goes the semi-brief. Let's follow it in. Let's follow it in. Please don't get shot down. Please don't get shot down. Wait. What happened? It, it bounced off of the shield? What? What happened? It like it just it just hit the shield and got deflected away and then it just became nothing. Well the raffles you though ain't having none of it. The raffles you ain't having none of it. There goes an Argos. The raffles you is gonna make another Argos go down. I don't know what happened. Look at these What are these fantastic? They're like little they're, they're like little seeking drone missile thingies oh my goodness so cool so cool all right redemptio let's try again with a nuke eh let's try and get, let's try again with a nuke let's put one right there no nope, you're not you can't fire yet can't fire another nuke yet oh okay well hopefully soon there you go. There it goes. There it goes. Maybe this one actually connects. Maybe this one connects. No. Oh, oh, unlucky. That's just the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. That's just the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. Down go is an, an enforcer class. Oh, there's a lot of battleships in this fight. There's a lot of battleships in this fight. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. It is gorgeous. Okay, that Argos has taken a lot of damage. There goes a Griffin. This Argos raffles you. Boom. Raffles you's bombs. Remove the Argos. And then she drops a couple of extra bombs over here as well. What a good girl. What a good girl. Get out of there, raffles. You did a great job did a great job let's go they are seemingly very overwhelmed it looks like this battle is very much in our hands at this point in time it is glorious and gorgeous and wonderful oh yes kaboom bunch of reaper torpedoes take out the onslaught Bunch of Reaper, Reaper torpedoes from the Menace Cars. Take out the Onslaught. And that is beautiful. I know they're not technically Reapers. They're just anti-ship torpedoes. But they look like Reapers. <laughs> and there is the battle. Done. Completed. High value target Gamma 9B. Eliminated. Um, we will allow, we will allow them freedom. We will allow them freedom. Well, the, what's left. Um, and we got the advanced cataphract LSM blueprint package. Hmm. Hmm. Indeed, did we? Isn't that fancy? There's the supplies we need. And there goes that fleet with 3.3 million credits as you can see getting to 50 would be an incredible amount well that is the blaze of glory of the final episode though if you guys have enjoyed this episode and more importantly if you've enjoyed this series then make sure you hit that like button make sure you've hit that subscribe button and do come check me out on twitch in the description below to see more of my shenanigans four days a week for a bunch of hours if you fancy that thank you so much for being awesome and amazing and for getting this far in the series if you've watched all 23 episodes to the end then you are the absolute goat greatest of all time that is not like an animal of course <laughs> i will see you 
in the next series. But for now, I am out of supplies. And you need to stay safe in the stars. Farewell.